Hey everybody, I'm Joe and this is the DM Toolbox, your go-to place to get all the tools you need to enhance your D&D games. Today, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about, first, my channel. I've been doing this now for about a year and it's going great and I'm enjoying it and my subscribers and viewers have been awesome, but I've been thinking a little bit about how I want to bring my content to you guys. And last week, uh, a viewer had posed a question to me about uh, how to, you know, alternative ways to level their characters to track experience or milestone or something like that. And that spawned last week's video. And I got to thinking that when I started this channel, the idea was to bring you tools to help make your D&D games a little better, uh, improve them a little bit, things like that. And I've, for what I've been doing for the most part is doing a lot of book reviews, which is great. And there's a lot of awesome tools out there. But I wanted to maybe approach it in a more practical sense. Uh, I want to take questions from you, questions from my viewers, and see what tools I have that could actually help with those issues that you might be having as a DM. So that's what I want to try to do here today and in a lot of my videos moving forward. I will still be doing book reviews and covering uh, Kickstarters and stuff like that. Um, you know, one of my other big goals, I feel, is to really help promote third-party D&D publishers. You know, there's so many out there like Cobalt Press, like AAW Games, like Nord Games that I want to help to, you know, kind of get their, their material out there and spotlight it. There's a bunch of wonderful creators in the DMs Guild and other publishers out there that I really feel deserve a spotlight. So I want to keep doing that, but I also don't want to exclude some of the tools that even Wizards of the Coast uh, sometimes brings. They're, they, you know, do have some useful stuff, and I do on occasion want to touch on some of that as well. So my goal is to really try and think about problems that DMs might face and even players might face and bring you some tools to help you with that. So with that in mind, we're going to look today at how to create small mini dungeons and scenarios uh, you know, to kind of act as filler sometimes in your D&D games. So let's get into it. Okay, so apologize for that long intro today. I know it was a little different, but I really wanted to kind of put that out there to you guys. So I appreciate you bearing with me. Now, before I do get into today's topic, do me a favor, if you are enjoying my channel, if you're curious as to what I'm gonna do moving forward with this channel, make sure you're subscribed. If you're not, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Also give the video a thumbs up. It really does help me out. Uh, I do plan to do some more giveaways. Uh, in fact, I have some ready to go. Uh, and we are going to be continuing to do that as we move forward. Um, so today, uh, one thing that uh, people have mentioned to me in the past is, you know, sometimes I either really don't have time to prepare something, uh, or maybe I just have a little one shot I want to throw together, or maybe my party's doing some kind of travel or something like that. I want some good filler material, something I can throw at them uh, easily. Uh, and sometimes I need to come up with this stuff fast. Maybe it's on the spot. Maybe it's in the middle of the game or, you know, the, the day of the game. I have a little bit of time to prep, but not a lot. What do I do? So I got two, two tools I want to share with you guys today. The first is from AAW Games, and it is the Mini Dungeon Tome. Now, this is a cool book filled with very small, like, miniature one-shots. I don't even want to call them a full one-shot because... Uh, there's not always a ton of story behind them as much as, you know, here's a dungeon or, uh, you know, some kind of scenario with a map and uh, what those areas hold. And, uh, you know, this will take up two pages in this book, like right here. Here's one I just opened up to for a ship. This is the whole thing. The next page is a new adventure. And this is the whole thing. The next page is a new adventure. So these are really handy. Uh, you know, we've got them. Um, kind of by, uh, you know, it'll tell you the number of PCs. There's different types of settings here. Uh, so if we look in the book, you know, we can see, um, you know, uh, Pleasure Den, The Great Library, I mean, cab, uh, Cabin of uh, uh, Catastrophe. Um, so there is, you know, a good amount of variety here. So I can open up if I'm looking for 
something for you know a forest setting. Maybe I want to do something where I'm crossing a river. Uh, here's one I have right here ready to go. Now these will generally tell you what the level range is, but a lot of times they are um, you know easily uh, adjusted. But it'll tell you right here. This is a level four to five scenario for three to five PCs. But, you know, you can always make adjustments on the fly as a, as a good DM. So uh, you can kind of just flip through this and find something relatively quick that'll work for your game on the spot. Now, let's say you're not finding something in here or you want to create something maybe a little more custom uh, and you have a little bit more time to prep. Well, Pace Setter Games has got this really cool book called Endless Dungeon Encounters. And what's neat about this is, yeah, I can throw together something quick and small, but I can also throw this together something big and massive. If I really wanted to do like a giant dungeon crawl, I could do it with this book. Um, if you go back and you look at like my uh, video of Spectacular Settlements, that was a, a book from Nord Games that was essentially an engine to generate cities and towns. Um, I don't want to call this an engine because it's not, but it sort of is as well, uh, where you can generate dungeons. So what it does is go, it takes you floor by floor. So uh, each floor um, is like a, basically a chapter and it's filled with tables that we just basically roll on saying, okay, well, I'm going to start off with an entry room. So what does that room have? And I'm going to roll, um, you know, some dice here. So we're going to start with what's the illumination like? So I'm going to roll a D10 and, you know, maybe it has, uh, you know, uh, lanterns, one uh, per 60 square feet. Uh, and then the room contains, I'm going to roll a D20, and the room contains, maybe uh, it is a re uh, religious, and then it tells me roll on chart three for a religious rule type. So I go over to chart three, I roll a D8, and it's a temple. And it basically just tells you, you know, now roll to this chart, now roll this chart, and we generate a room. And then we go back and we can do another one. We can also generate uh, corridors or hallways. So you can start to map out and generate these random rooms and create a really cool dungeon. And then when you're done with floor one, if you want to do you know, a second floor, uh, you know, you go to the next chapter and we have all new ones for the second floor. They also give you a sample dungeon. So here's the sample dungeon for floor one with a map and all the stuff. So it's all in here. So if you just want to use the sample dungeon right out of the book, you know, you have sample dungeons ready to go. So this is a pretty chunky book. It is, let's see how many pages this book is. It is almost 300 pages, um, you know, with maps and everything. And then if you want as a, uh, um, you know, a little add-on, there is a map book that just has all the maps uh, for all the sample dungeons in it numbered uh, and ready to go. So really handy tool. Uh, that's from Pace Setter Games. So um, if you want to create something a little more custom, and you've got some time, uh, that's a really good way to go. I like stuff like that. Like I like uh, I like rolling on tables. I just enjoy rolling on tables. I like using tables to create character backgrounds, to create cities, to create dungeons. It's fun to randomize stuff sometimes. Just exciting to see what happens. And I find that sometimes those random rolls get my creative juices going, and I end up coming up with really cool story ideas behind them. So... I'm going to put links to both of these books in the description. I highly suggest the one from AAW Games for just having pre-made, ready-to-go stuff. Uh, also, make sure you go on their site. Uh, there's a link to their Discord. Join AAW's Discord. Every week, they drop a free, a new free mini dungeon that remains free for like two weeks. You can download it. After that, they're like a buck a piece to buy. So you can buy new ones. They have tons of them. There's 130 in this book. But then you can also, they have like, I think they have a little subscription service where you get like five dungeons a week for like a couple bucks and plus the free one. So you get like six dungeons a week um, from AAW for next to nothing. So definitely worth checking out. I hope they do a, a mini dungeon tome too at some point. I When we were at Gen Con, I was with them and a lot of people had asked about that. So maybe it's something they'll do in the future. We'll see. But definitely a cool book. And then Pace Setter Games, I'll put their link as well. Check out Endless Dungeon, or Endless en uh, Encounter Dungeons, I'm sorry. Endless Encounter Dungeons book uh, and the map book. Uh, very, very cool. Pace Setter's actually got a lot of cool stuff. I'm going to cover some more of their stuff in the future. I even have some stuff of theirs for a giveaway coming up, so stay tuned for that as well. 
So that's it for now, guys. I hope you maybe like this idea of a, of a new format that more poses a question and uh, we come up with a solution. So my question of the day for you is, you know, what kind of problems or questions do you have that you might want, be looking for the right tool to solve? Let me know in the comments and I'll see what I have and maybe we can do a video on that. All right, that's all for today. And until next time, roll those dice.